Yo, this be the one them called Tech Nine, and you're watching Ski TV right here, looking at me, Tech N Nine N E. Tech, how did you learn to dance? Did you ever take classes, or did you just kind of figure it out? I was born with rhythm, thank the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Because if I didn't have rhythm to be a b-boy like I was, break dancing, pop lock, and everything, even MC Hammer dancing, you know. Um, I wouldn't be able to rap because with rhythm came rhyme. So I was a dancer before I wrote rhymes, you know what I'm sizzling? So that's why you see me on stage, I'm popping and everything because it's in my bones, you know what I'm saying? To hit like that, you know? I wanna know what your secret is with that merch. The secret to our merch is that we have a lot of great masterminds in, around us in strange music, you know, I'm one of them. Travis is like a big, big he's like the main mastermind uh, behind a lot of the merch ideas. We got other, uh, masterminds like Corey Lloyd, you know what I'm saying? Travis's wife, you know what I mean? Um, we just throw together ideas, man, but we always believed in making things classy. You know, even our Strange Music logo is classy. You know, everything we do has to have some class. Your favorite show you ever played? Roskildefest in Denmark. And I didn't think nobody was gonna be there. I'm like, man, we're gonna have like a hundred people in this big tent to come see me. And we walked out on the stage, the whole tent was full, the 20,000 people, and it was all kind of people outside the tent, and they all had Tech 9 banners and everything. It was just so wonderful. Will you ever perform Get Blowed again? Get Blowed, wow. I've only done it like once in Kansas City, like back in the day, like 90, 96 maybe, I did Get Blowed, you know what I mean? At over in Kansas City, Kansas, at the Memorial, I think it was, I forgot, it's, it's, I think it's called Memorial Hall or something like that. Uh, yeah, Memorial Hall in Kansas, and Sibo was there, and I forgot who else was performing, and I did get blowed for the first time with Don Juan and Diamond and everybody, and um, I don't think I did it no more after that. And whoever was there at that show, they, they probably really enjoyed it. I don't think I'll ever do it again. What is your favorite um, item off of the Gates menu to order? My favorite item off the Gates menu, if you don't know what Gates is, um, it's a Kansas City barbecue spot. It's monumental. Um, I grew up on it. I get the beef on bun, lean as possible. That means you don't want no fat on it. The beef on bun, lean as possible heavy on the sauce with a side of baked beans, a side of um, fries, and a strawberry soda. What's up, Tech Nine? It's Anomaly. I'm just curious, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? My favorite ice cream was taught to me by my um, head of security over here in Inglewood Mugs. I wasn't a big ice cream fan until he showed me Ben and Jerry's Red velvet cake, ice cream, wow. It's chunks of cake in the shit. Oh my goodness, man, you know what I'm sizzling? I, I'm, and it has to, I know it had something to do with this little bag I have on my belly lately, you know what I'm saying, that I'm trying to lose after the holidays because I ate so much Ben & Jerry's red velvet cake ice cream. I think it's just so wonderful. I tried the others, like the cookie, cream, cookies and cream, nope. I tried the other ones, I forgot the other ones they call it, but that's my favorite.